Just imagine you are walking at the riverside and actually you saw this. The egg popping out of the soil. What will you do? Isn't this amazing? At the site of the riverside, there are so many things you can find that is very, very surprising. Yes, and that's why I love going at the riverside because you might find creatures like this one. Wow, this large fish is the one popping its eggs out of the soil. And if you are a lucky fisherman, what do you do? Write your opinion in the comment section below. Because if I was the one, I would scrub the earth. I would scrub the earth with my fingers and my toes and make sure that I get the fish out of the mud. I get the fish out of the sand. Look at the eggs. So big, so lovely. And I just hope that this fisherman will be able to put the eggs back and cover it so that it may reproduce and form new small fishes. Yes. Because that's the, 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 the female fish that actually went out of the river to lay those eggs. And the eggs need to hatch and form more fishes. So big. This one is so big that it can even feed the whole village. Another fish that I love so much is the mud fish. Mud fishes, if you are a lucky person, even going to the farm, you can just happen to meet them somewhere. Because mud fish are one of those ones that pop also out of the soil. Why? Because they can breathe out of the earth. Look at it here. That's real mud fish. You know? And even in small rivers, along the uh, farm path, the path when going to the farms or in the bushes, you can see mud fish also swimming everywhere. And when I was small, I always liked this. Because when we see them like this, then we don't go to the farm again. It's enough harvest to harvest and go home. You see them. Mud fishes also live in marshy areas. And if you are lucky going to the farm and you see it like this, say, you just harvest and go. Is it not enough harvest? Because it gives a lot of protein. So those who are living in maybe in smaller villages or in local community, Try making sure that you just go and walk at the riverside. You may be lucky to find something like this. And if you see something like this, it's really organic. It is not the fishes that are being farmed. These are really organic. These are natural with so much protein, you know. It is so lovely, so lovely. I will encourage anybody who has the opportunity to go around riverside. To make sure that where you are going, just go with a small container or go with your small bag. You may be lucky to find something like this. Who knows? Just look at this fish that we just saw. You know, the eggs are wonderful. The fish itself is very tasteful. This is what we call cover pots in Cameroon. Because you can just use it and cover the whole pot. It is so large. Okay, now let's move ahead to actually see one of my favorite fish. It really looks like this one is tilapia, but the one we are going to see now, it looks like tilapia. And it's also always go out of the mud also, but it is not actually tilapia. Just watch it. Isn't that wonderful? Imagine you are walking at a place that was usually marshy. And maybe it is during the dry season and the sun has already evaporated most of the water and nothing is left. You are just walking and you happen to see this. What will you do? They look so lovely. It seems as if they are coming out actually to bathe in the sun. These are some of the type of fishes that actually breathe air. And when they come out like this, they will do sunbathing and go back in. Because under the mud. There should be at least a little bit of water. Even though the sun is too much in the dry season that the water has dried out. This is one of the reasons why even though I'm here far from the village, I still make sure that I go out around the river and wash fishermen. So tell me now, if you're walking along the riverside and you see fishes like this, what will you do? 
Will you take the fish to your house or will you just allow the fishes there to stay? Please write your answer in the comment section below. So let's see what you will do if you meet fishes like this. Let me take you to one of my fishing experience in Lede, Belgium, Oost Flanders. <laughs> Super, dat hij niet eens tegen je gezicht krijgt. Dat is dus dat is een grote man. Dat is een foto dat we gaan maken. Kom. Wacht maar, wacht maar, wat die mensen hier maken voor dan. Ik zal een keer even een foto maken, meneer. Wat Ik zal een keer even een foto maken. Dank u. Wauw, echt groot. Okay. Ja, dank u wel. Ja, ja, dank u wel. Ah, my god. Dat was het, guys. Unfortunately, the fish went back into the river. The man almost fell into the river to follow the fish. <laughs> It was such an amazing watch, you know. But you see, everywhere around the river, all around the small stream, there are people fishing there, and they do this regularly. Normally, it's usual to pay a fee before you go here and fish. But they don't, they don't bother paying that fee mm -hmm. and going here to fish for the rest of the day. And even around here also, you see the decks. I just love them. The way the ducklings will be swimming in, on top of the river, I wish I was one of them. You know, you really see them enjoying, flapping their wings, swimming. And the problem is that they actually also send their waste to feed the fish. As well as if they are hungry and they are small fishes, they will also eat the small, smaller fishes too, the fingerlings. They feed on the fingerlings and their excretors are also very good because it actually nourish the fish and uh, it fertilize the river also. So that's why everywhere you see a pond for fish, you always see decks around. That's really a mutual relationship and they are benefiting from the fingerlings as well as they are also feeding the big fishes, you know. Actually, we are here in Lede, and as you see, there are so many uh, birds in the river. You see how they are playing, dancing, swimming. Oh my God, <laughs> so nice. They are just wonderful, marvelous. That was it, fans. If you have not been used to walking along the riverside, know that you are missing a very big opportunity. Just try anytime just to walk beside the river. It's so refreshing, you know. It makes, it changes your mood and make keep you happy, you see. So, and you can even be lucky to have some fishes. You can see them, you know. It, it's so amazing watching people fish, even fishermen. It is amazing to keep them company. Even if you spend just an hour beside the riverside just to watch the duck and to breathe fresh air, you know, it will be so refreshing to your mood. Now that we've seen the creatures that can be found at the riverside, I hope you all enjoyed it and you will make it an opportunity to always walk along the rivers. If you keep walking along the river, who knows, you may be opportune to meet something like these catfishes and have a harvest, you know, harvest them, go home, eat and nourish your body with protein. Thank you for watching up to this level. Don't forget to share your opinion in the comment section below. I hope to see you again 
tomorrow. Cheers.